Hey everyone, welcome back to Finance Homefront. With me, Craig, your host. Today, we're diving into an exciting topic. Warren Buffett's company betting $1 billion on a crypto stock. But before we get started, I want to extend a big thank you to all of you for joining me. Your support means everything to me and the growth of this channel. If you're enjoying the content, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment down below. Your engagement helps us grow and create more valuable content for you. Now, before we jump into the discussion, I wanna make one thing clear. I'm not here to give financial advice. The information shared in this video is for educational and informational purposes only. Always do your research and consult with a professional before making any investment decisions. With that said, let's explore the fascinating world of Warren Buffett's investment moves and how they relate to the crypto market. Are you ready? Let's dive in. Warren Buffett's stance on Bitcoin has remained consistent over the years. He's skeptical, if not outright dismissive, of the cryptocurrency. Buffett has often voiced his concerns about Bitcoin, stating that he doesn't understand it, sees no intrinsic value in it, and believes it's a speculative asset with no productive use. His skepticism stems from his traditional value investing approach, which focuses on tangible assets and businesses with proven track records. Additionally, Buffett has expressed concerns about Bitcoin's volatility, regulatory uncertainty, and susceptibility to fraud and manipulation. Despite Bitcoin's skyrocketing value over time, Buffett has refrained from investing in it, opting instead for assets he can better comprehend and evaluate based on fundamental analysis. Yet, amidst his aversion to cryptocurrencies, his company, Berkshire Hathaway, seems to be making a significant bet on a crypto-related stock, New Holdings, to the tune of $1 billion. New Holdings, formerly known as New Bank, is a fintech company that has surged in the Latin American banking sector since its inception in 2013. The company's mission was simple but revolutionary, to disrupt the traditional banking industry in the region by offering low-cost financial services accessible to anyone with a smartphone or computer. Latin America's response was resounding, with Nubank quickly amassing a customer base that now exceeds 90 million a staggering figure considering its humble beginnings just a decade ago. What sets Nubank apart is its ability to evolve alongside its growing customer base, initially offering basic financial products like bank accounts and credit cards. The company has expanded its portfolio to include a range of services. Notably in 2022, it introduced NuCrypto, a platform allowing users to buy, sell and transact in cryptocurrencies, including Bitcoin and Ethereum. This move proved immensely popular with over a million active users in its inaugural month alone. Despite its foray into crypto, Nubank's primary revenue streams still stem from traditional financial products such as credit cards and insurance policies. However, its venture into the crypto market underscores its commitment to innovation and adaptability, positioning it as a leader in Latin America's burgeoning crypto space. From an investor's standpoint, Nubank presents an intriguing opportunity reminiscent of classic Buffett stocks. Founded by David Velez, a seasoned venture capitalist, Nubank boasts a robust economic moat, making it challenging for competitors to replicate its digital-first business model. While the crypto aspect adds a new dimension to its growth trajectory, Nubank's core strength lies in its ability to deliver high-demand financial products efficiently and effectively. While Nubank's shares have experienced a significant uptrend, investors, including Buffett, recognize the potential for sustained growth in the years to come. Buffett's investment philosophy has historically favored early investment in companies with long-term growth prospects, and Nubank aligns well with this strategy. However, it's essential to exercise due diligence before diving into any investment. While Nubank may hold promise, it's prudent to consider alternative investment options and seek expert advice. 
The Motley Fool's stock advisor service, for instance, provides valuable insights and recommendations, helping investors navigate the complex world of stocks and maximize their returns. This month, Bitcoin's price has surged past the $60,000 mark, marking another milestone in its remarkable journey of value appreciation. The cryptocurrency's ascent to these lofty heights underscores the growing mainstream acceptance and institutional adoption of Bitcoin as a legitimate asset class. While Bitcoin's volatility remains a hallmark of its nature, its resilience and ability to attract significant investment interest have propelled it to unprecedented levels. This surge in price reflects not only increased investor confidence, but also heightened interest from institutional players seeking exposure to digital assets. As Bitcoin continues to capture headlines and attract new investors, its role as a store of value and a hedge against traditional financial systems uncertainties is becoming increasingly pronounced. With the halving coming up very quickly, the price is predicted to rise even further. The Bitcoin halving, also known as the halvening, is an event programmed into the Bitcoin protocol that occurs approximately every four years. During this event, the rate at which new Bitcoins are created is cut in half, effectively reducing the supply of new coins entering circulation. This mechanism is built into Bitcoin's design to control inflation and ensure scarcity, akin to the scarcity of precious metals like gold. The halving event is triggered after every 210,000 blocks are mined, which roughly equates to four years given the average block time of 10 minutes. As a result of the halving, the rewards miners receive for validating transactions and adding them to the blockchain are halved, impacting the supply side dynamics of Bitcoin. Historically, Bitcoin halvings have been associated with price rallies, as the reduced supply often leads to increased demand and upward pressure on prices due to the scarcity of newly minted coins. In conclusion, Buffett's reluctance towards Bitcoin hasn't deterred Berkshire Hathaway from making a substantial investment in new holdings, a testament to the company's potential in the evolving landscape of fintech and cryptocurrencies. As Nubank continues to innovate and expand its offerings, it presents an intriguing opportunity for investors seeking exposure to high growth markets with a long-term perspective. Thanks again all for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe to the channel.